physicists have uncovered what they're calling a grandiose error in the fine structure steady. Alpha testing our long-held confidence in the consistency of actual regulations. Across the universe, this captivating oddity recommends that the constants governing central powers could fluctuate from one locale of room to another, possibly reshaping our comprehension of the universe. In this video, we will investigate what's implied by vast error, examine its difficult suggestions for Einstein's equality standard, look at how this changeability in alpha could affect cosmological models, and imagine what these grandiose misfires uncover about the basic texture of physical science and the sky is the limit from there. So without further ado, we should get begun. The stargazers saw through their adaptive focal points a light from far-off quasars, very glowing dynamic cosmic cores fueled by dark openings at their focuses. These quasars, found billions of light years away, act as guides from the early universe, their light conveying secrets across time and space. The exploration began north of 10 years back with perceptions from the Keck Observatory in Hawaii. Researchers estimated the light consumed by molecules and atoms in interstellar space. As this light went toward Earth from far-off quasars, they zeroed in on the fine structure steady, otherwise called alpha, which is essential in deciding the strength of electromagnetic cooperations. Alpha impacts everything from the shade of stars to the science of life itself. In the underlying discoveries, Something unforeseen seemed. The worth of alpha gathered from these far-off light sources was unpretentiously, but noticeably more modest than what is estimated in terrestrial research facilities. The situation started to get interesting with ensuing perceptions from the very enormous telescope VT-NCH which took a gander at various locales of the sky. The information from VT recommended that, in different pieces of the universe, alpha was somewhat bigger than the qualities we see on Earth. This fluctuation was minute, about a millionth of Alpha's esteem, yet its suggestions for major physical science are great. This disclosure infers an organized variety in Alpha across the sky, indicating a dipole design, a situation where the universe has bigger upsides of Alpha on one side and more modest on the other, suggestive of a bar magnet. This design adjusts inquisitively with the development of a secretive stream of universes known as the dim stream, which are moving in a similar course towards the edge of the noticeable universe. This arrangement between the variety in alpha and the development of these worlds proposes a potential primary anisotropy in the universe, testing the rule of isotropy, which places that the universe ought to appear to be identical this way and that. The meaning of these discoveries broadens past simple scholastic interest. The fine structure steady directs the solidness and properties of iotas and, in this manner, the principal parts of science and physical science. In the event that alpha could indeed change, it could propose that areas of the universe vary in their major actual cosmetics, prompting significant ramifications for our comprehension of cosmology. For example, assuming alpha were simply 4% different, the interior functions of stars would change, keeping them from creating carbon, a critical element for life as far as we might be concerned. This recommends that the exact equilibrium of actual regulations that grants life is not a general norm, yet rather a fortunate element of our particular area in the universe. These discoveries represent the exciting chance that we dwell in a uniquely life-enabling bubble inside an expanse of fluctuating actual regulations, testing the Cernic rule that Earth isn't in a unique area in the universe. The examination so far illustrates a universe undeniably more complicated and changed than we could have envisioned where essential constants aren't really consistent. Later, music, all Einstein's proportionality standard, a foundation of general relativity, attests that the laws of physical science are predictable all through the universe. This rule supports a lot of current material science, recommending that tests performed here on Earth would yield the same outcomes any place in the universe, despite area or speed. However, the obvious variety in alpha challenges this essential thought, suggesting that the universe could not be pretty much as uniform as once suspected. This challenge to the identicalness standard isn't simply a minor objection. It could require a significant correction of our comprehension of physical science. If alpha differs, it could imply that different constants we underestimate, for example, the gravitational steady or the speed of light, could likewise vary in various portions of the universe. This chance opens up another domain of physical science where constants are not outright, however, are rather boundaries that can change in light of astronomical area or conditions. The ramifications for cosmology are especially huge. The standard model of cosmology, 
in light of a uniform and isotropic universe, may should be reconsidered. This model, which incorporates speculations of expansion and the huge explosion, depends vigorously on the consistency of actual regulations with differing constants. Our clarifications for the extension of the universe, the arrangement of universes, and, surprisingly, the circumstances for the huge explosion could be up for reevaluation. Additionally, the potential inconstancy of constants could likewise influence how we might interpret dark energy and dark matter, puzzling parts remembered to make up around 95% of the universe's all-out mass energy content. These parts are surmised from gravitational impacts and the universe's development rate, the two of which could be influenced by neighborhood varieties in actual regulations. Overhauling our comprehension of these constants could give new bits of knowledge into these cryptic peculiarities, conceivably offering new answers for some of the most confusing riddles in music cosmology. The idea of fluctuating constants inside the universe isn't totally new. As a matter of fact, weighty work in this space was started by John Webb of the College of New South Grains in City, Australia many years prior. Webb and his group gave early proof suggesting that the fine structure steady alpha probably won't be pretty much as consistent as previously thought. This early exploration set the stage for a more profound investigation into the key regulations that oversee our universe. Late headways have not just authenticated John's underlying discoveries. However, have likewise refined them with new mechanical abilities. The new information proposes that alpha could differ by around 4% which lined up with the examined astronomical error. The confirmation of these varieties and the refinement of Jay's underlying exploration have been enormously helped by headways in observational innovations like the referenced VT telescope. Additionally, the utilization of spectroscopy has become more refined, empowering researchers to quantify the retention lines in the light from far-off quasars with exceptional precision. One significant ramifications of these high-level perceptions relates to the age of the universe. Ongoing models proposed by Rendra Gupta utilizing James Webb Telescope propose that the universe could be essentially as old as 26.7 billion years, almost two times the right now acknowledged period of roughly 13.7 billion years. This emotional correction emerges from new approaches in estimating inestimable timescales, which could essentially adjust how we might interpret cosmological advancement. You can watch our video on this intriguing exploration. The connect is in the portrayal. The presence of alleged Methuselah stars, which appear to originate before the universe's previously assessed age, and the disclosure of a head of schedule systems just a brief time later the enormous detonation, have long perplexed space experts. These worlds show qualities of a lot more seasoned, more mature systems like significant mass and developed creations. This recommends that the universe's initial formative stages were undeniably more fast and complex than straightforward models of vast development have anticipated. The JWST and other high-level telescopes will play critical jobs in settling these secrets by noticing the universe in phenomenal detail. These telescopes will help researchers refine the estimation of red moves and better comprehend the actual cycles that happen not long from now after the huge explosion. This upgraded understanding could accommodate the obvious age inconsistencies and give experiences into the early speed increase of system arrangement. As we proceed to investigate these inquiries, we remain focused on revealing the heap ways in which the universe proceeds to shock and illuminate us. Thank you for going along with us on this inestimable excursion. We've investigated pivotal revelations and the cutting-edge innovations set to change our vast points of view. As we proceed to address and concentrate on the universe's immense intricacies, stay inquisitive and keep gazing upward. The revelation of a potential variability in fundamental constants like the fine structure constant, alpha, presents a profound challenge to our understanding of the universe and the fundamental principles that govern it. This revelation, stemming from meticulous observations of distant quasars and galaxies, has sparked a paradigm shift in cosmology challenging long-held assumptions about the uniformity of physical laws across the cosmos. In conclusion, the discovery of variability in fundamental constants like alpha represents a seismic shift in our understanding of the cosmos. It challenges long-held assumptions, pushes the boundaries of scientific inquiry, and invites us to reconsider the nature of reality itself. As we continue to probe the mysteries of the universe, we must remain open to the possibility of radical new discoveries that may reshape our understanding of existence and our place within the vast expanse of space and time.